Right now, you're known mostly all around the world for playing the billionaire in, in the Jurassic World and for uh, Life of Pi and for Lunchbox. <laughs> but actually, you know, uh, and of course, all the awards you're getting all around the world, etc. But this is a 1988 Salam Bombay right. film, you know, one of the first films that you've done. Right. You've been doing this, but the recognition has come in maybe the last 10 years. Right. So has the, you know, but your work, your dedication, your interest is the same. So in what way has people's behavior toward you changed uh, in the last five years? When I started, people used to consider me as a good actor, but I could see that I am not ruling their heart. I'm not creating a spell in their heart. Uh, they are not carrying memories. They know that he is a technically he's a good actor. They used to have a respect for me. But ne they never, I could feel that they never used to carry that experience of my stories or my characters home. It, that was the main difference when I started getting my kind of stories. When I had the confidence to put my own interpretation to the characters. And then there was a kind of, uh, you know, world I started creating. And that started impacting uh, people's... Uh, intellect and their emotion. That was the time I was waiting for. Yeah. This is the warrior yeah. the film. So you talked about your turning point. In what way was this film for yourself a turning point? I was doing television, a lot of television and uh, most of the television was uh, verbal drama. There was no behavior in it. It was mostly informative drama where you have to tell the audience what's going in your head, what you are thinking. Everything you have to verbalize. Well, literal. 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 Yeah. Like, you know, a housewife can be in the kitchen, but still if she's hearing the television, she could follow what's going on. She doesn't need to look at it, you know. Okay. So that… That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that was a kind of limitation and I used to struggle with it, you know. Whenever I used to go uh, for the shoot of these uh, series, uh, sometimes the producer used to get bugged, you know. I used to hear… Uh, saying them that, you know, Are yaar, ye aage, ab ye seen lamba kar dega. <laughs> so, uh, they just wanted me to, you know, uh, blurt out lines, yeah. you know, as fast as I could, so that, you know, they, ha they can save money in the editing, they can save money otherwise as well, you know. They didn't want any kind of behavior. Even if sometimes I used to think that, you know, this guy shouldn't look like this, it should, it should look somewhere, some, you know, some, somebody else, they used to dissuade me. You know, yeah. because everything costs money. Right. So, uh, I was getting frustrated and at that time, uh, this uh, story came to me. And uh, at that time, I felt how things sometimes follow you and they, uh, they give you what you are looking for. I was looking for a story where I could behave in that story, where I don't need to rely on lines to communicate. And uh, this story came to me and I was reluctant to go because the casting director told me this is a, there's, a, there's a guy from London and he's looking for an uh, actor who can play warrior. Now I know my physicality and I said, no, I'm, I'm not going there because uh, you know, he must be looking for a bodybuilder kind of person and you know, I, I don't fit in. He said, no, 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 please go and meet him. And the, and the, and the time I entered the room, I had some feeling. I met this director, Asif Kapadia, and then we started talking. And then we, we kept on talking. And I had a feeling that there's something waiting for me here. Mm, yeah. And then the process started. And at that time, I was also indulging myself in production. So whatever money I earned, I have already invested in uh, some pilots. And they were supposed to be uh, approved. So I did the shooting of this film for two, two and a half months and then there was a kind of a spell of this story. This is the first time I experienced what a story can do to an actor, how it grows on you when you are continuously shooting a story or when you are, you know, continuously dealing with that character, how that character, that story create a spell on you and it becomes a part of your experience, it becomes real for you. And at the end of the shoot, my wife came to, to, the, to the shoot and uh, she was worried about the money which we have already invested in television. And she was saying, what do we do about that? And suddenly something said from inside me, she said, I said, just forget it. 
Life is showing me some path, let me follow it. I don't care how much money I put there, I'm, I know, I have seen production, I am not made to deal with that kind of uh, life. I cannot become a producer where I have to think each and, you know, I have to think about money, how to save money. Where you have to tell your actors to talk fast so you can <laughs> <save> money. <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, that, you know, that this film showed me a, a, a path and I just followed it and, uh, you know, yeah. my life changed after that. Yeah. So, is, do you find there is a difference between, maybe it's too, being too general or uh, is that, the movies in the West versus movies that are made here is when you go work with Ang Lee to make Life of Pi or, is there a certain way of uh, developing a character that's very different than uh, when you work here or is it just with a director, like, you know, there is obviously there's one more thing of uh, Magbul, you know, which is also another a film in the Indian cinema. That's one of the things that was really very uh, powerful uh, right. character that you played or a powerful story. So, is it that the the particular director you get, or in the East versus West, are there different ways that we make films that uh, that make you an actor in a different way? See, there are a few differences, and they are very you know very important differences. Like sometimes in our industry, we are uh, the center of the story is the image of the star and all the departments serve that image. All the characters around him serve that image. The, the films which I do in Hollywood, there the, the center is the story, the power of the story. So you can take anybody, you know, from Tom Hanks to everybody, all the big stars, they are serving the purpose of the story, yeah. not the image of the star. Mm -hmm. So that changes everything because all the departments are working towards communicating that idea, that story and people bringing their own reflection, their own experience of their life to enhance that story, mm -hmm. not about serving a particular uh, 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 image yeah. or, you know, star's image. If you are not doing a conventional work, if you are not following conventional, uh, you know, uh, storytelling, you are made feel guilty about what you are bringing in a newness to the craft. Right, yeah. You are in pressure, yeah. you know, you are always like a threat. What, what is this guy doing? Why we are not being able to, you know, either you should come and serve yeah. our conventional uh, storytelling or you are an outsider, you are cre creating a kind of disturbance. Yeah. I don't know if it's true or not, not just in acting, in about everything. I feel a lot of times here that you have to go somewhere outside and get the respect and then you'll get to do what you want to do here. Um, is that your experience? No, I, I, I think it's the audience which, uh, which really felt nice about uh, a, a person from their country getting recognition there, but not the industry. Industry only react to the business. If you do a business, if your film do business in, in the local market, only then you are, uh, yeah. you are recognized. Yeah. So they only react to business. Mm -hmm. That's uh, sometimes, you know, it's, it's a limitation for, for anybody, you know. It's, it's, it's not an encouragement. So now we see, we know you, most of the people know you only through the characters that you play which are very, most often very deep, very serious. So, is there a lighter side to Irfan Khan? I mean, is there a goofy <laughs> side to Irfan Khan? <laughs> or are you your characters? <laughs> I keep doing it, you know, from time to time, like uh, Piku I did. Or right, you know, like, yeah. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm more uh, drawn towards lighter side of life. Uh -huh. You know, I'm, uh, it's just that, you know, I didn't have choice, that's why I kept on doing all these films. Yeah. But I don't enjoy intense… <laughs> but, but, but as a person, <laughs> as a person, what are you? What, what's as your a person, idea of having I, fun? <laughs> I, I am drawn to humor, I am drawn to lightness, you know, not the, yeah. not the usual intense stuff, you know, it bores me completely, yeah. you know, I run away. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, if you weren't doing films, if you want to hang out with a bunch of friends and not discuss like, you know, some storyline or something of that sort, what are the sort of things you like to do? Anything. 
you know. <laughs> I like sports, physical sports. I love okay. to play physical sports wherever. Sometimes, you know, uh, we used to play, uh, I used to have cricket bat and kites in my, uh, you know, back of the mug car. Whenever I used to get chance, you know, we used to just go down and play. Yes. Earlier, I used to, uh, you know, uh, I used to stop my car at the street and I used to play with, with, with you know, on Sundays in town, people play cricket on, on, on roads. Yeah. So, I love physical sports. I love adventure in, in, in forest. Uh, forest is something, you know, which just, uh, it's, it's, it creates a spell on me. It's, it's like, you know, I, I forget the language when I go to forest. And uh, it just put me into a deep silence. And uh, it's a kind of high which yeah. I get. Uh, I think it's my childhood because my father used to take me to forest in my childhood. And uh, I'm deeply connected to forest.